Port of Los Angeles embarks on developing a stunning waterfront and creating a green tech zone in the harbor area. The final ingredient in its goal of becoming one of the world's most dynamic and sustainable ports is working with its existing tenant, the Southern California Marine Institute, to create a world-class marine research facility at Historic City Dock 1. The well, Southern California Marine Institute is a consortium of the marine research and education interests of most of the major universities in the Los Angeles Basin. What a fabulous resource, but it's tucked away where no one can find it. So as part of our waterfront development, we're exploring with the universities, moving them onto the San Pedro waterfront in the area known as City Dock Number 1. It's called that because it's really the first big pier in the Outer Harbor that was ever constructed. It's got large warehouses, it's about 28 acres, it's got berthing all around it, and when the researchers saw that, you know, their eyes just got big. Moving over to City Dock 1, it would be a, uh, a wonderful event for us. It would expand our facilities. It puts us in a, in a prime location for attracting education and research programs. Our vision for the Marine Research Institute is that it solves some of man's most pressing problems. The ones we're dealing with today and the ones we're gonna have facing us in the next 50 years. If you read the newspapers, you know that the, this planet's in trouble. Uh, the oceans are in trouble. We have problems with marine fisheries collapsing. We have global warming occurring. And this would allow us to have a, a major marine research complex in an urban setting. We have this nexus of a large industrial facility, the port, a major population center, the city of Los Angeles, and a very rich marine environment. So we can't forget uh, there's a little island off of the coast of Los Angeles County called Catalina where you already have a research institute. So it sort of builds on one another. You have this critical mass. And so I think uh, there's a lot of potential for marine research. Education and research institutions have a tendency to be a magnet for other businesses and certainly for federal dollars. If we can create a research facility here that will attract money from Washington DC and other foundations, it creates a great opportunity for the community. The establishment of a marine research institute here provides us with the opportunity to bring knowledge-based jobs. This is important to us. We have to be looking at what the new workforce is going to be. Throughout much of the 20th century, the Port of Los Angeles was a major source of tens of thousands of jobs for local residents. Like many port communities around the country, the Port of Los Angeles faced profound industry changes over the decades. While globalization has made Los Angeles a leader in containerized cargo, other industry trends have all but eliminated San Pedro Bay's shipbuilding, fishing, and cannery operations. However, generations of San Pedrans still have memories of mothers, fathers, aunts, and uncles that fished or worked at seafood canneries. When they'd come home, they'd stink of fish and they'd say, Mommy, Daddy, you stink. And they'd say, that's the smell that's feeding us right now. Coming from a family of fishermen, the old saying was, the smell of fish is the smell of money. I knew when my uncles were here in town, because you could smell the canneries, you smell the fish coming in. Summers when I couldn't work on my dad's boat, I worked at Starkiss Cannery. You'd come back on the bus, so when you think about all of the cannery workers coming back on the bus, uh, that is a pungent aroma that I'll certainly never forget. I told my dad uh, when I caught the bus to go home, that all these nurses in white uniforms were on the bus, but they smelled really bad. And that was, they were all working in the canneries. My dad said, that's the smell of money, Dave. That's the smell of money. Now, we still have some very brave, honorable men that work in this fleet here uh, that are working very hard to make a living fishing out of here. And I certainly have a lot of respect for them, but it's gotta be very, very tough. Unfortunately today, the fishing industry has all but died. And it's our responsibility to bring in new good paying jobs and opportunities for our children and grandchildren for years to come. We're bringing a different type of industry to the Port of Los Angeles. We're really bringing an academic industry that um, creates uh, another element uh, to this very diverse waterfront. Any number of, of partnerships can be set up, public-private partnerships can be set up to occupy uh, a very large space at City Dock 1, which, which would get into the commercialization. You know, let's talk a little bit about how the biotech centers started, at least in this country. If you look at the Bay Area, it was certainly technology that came out of USF or out of Stanford. That then creates a gravity 
for other companies to either support that industry or other technologies that come out of those universities that are recombinant technologies and other businesses spring up. So if you look there today, there's literally hundreds of biotech companies and, and businesses that support biotech companies that really came out of that first, that first seed, which was university to business. We need to create a, a future generation in San Pedro to be able to take these jobs. And in order to do that, we've been working with the education um, institutes. We are involving the community colleges, involving you know, 11 major universities and undergraduate and graduate programs. Programs on the ocean directly with ocean access are invaluable to the education process and the vision that we have to, uh, to be teaching students from first graders all the way up to, to graduate students. We see ourselves as becoming a hub for that kind of educational program beyond the regular educational programs. We recently opened the only maritime studies charter high school in the nation. It's right here, next to the port, with 850 students. We have the Marine Mammal Rescue Center. We have the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. They're all wonderful in what they do. What SCMI would be able to do is to kind of bring those interests together and to collaborate. San Pedro always had that link to the marine environment. People came here from all over to go whale watching, to go to the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. And the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium has been in existence now since 1935. We figured out that we have taken over one million children in boats between here and Catalina Island to see whales. And the exciting thing is that our aquarium is right on the water, where we use all the natural elements of the ocean and water as part of the educational programs of the museum. We're fortunate because we're so rich with our natural environment. It's not just a flat ocean. We have cliffs and tide pools and waves and rocks. And then we have sandy beaches and wonderful, wonderful sounds and views. In addition to diversifying the waterfront's workforce with knowledge-based jobs and expanding educational opportunities in the harbor area, the proposed Marine Institute is viewed by many as a natural enhancement to current waterfront attractions such as the SS Lane Victory, harbor cruises at Ports of Call, the Maritime Museum, deep sea fishing at 22nd Street Landing, the Cabrillo Aquarium, and various water sports enjoyed at Cabrillo Beach. You can picture this old warehouse with big glass windows in it and a walking and biking path right along it and you can look in the windows and watch marine science taking place. That has to be a great tourist attraction. Well, I think San Pedro is the best place in the world to live. I think we're getting better and better and better, and I'm just so happy that I'm still alive and I'm still being part of it. <laughs>